Capacitor. Cap. 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 Talking about caps. Caps. Talking about caps. Talking about caps. 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 God, 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 God. Talking about caps. Talking about caps. Talking about caps. Hey, welcome to Pedal Guys. Welcome to Pedal Guys. It's been a minute. Glad to be back. Absolutely. Yep. A little bit of a hiatus, but we are back in action for the winter. Back in action. So today we're going to be uh, doing a little mod on one of my guitars. Um, and uh, this this is something that is kind of the easiest mod you can do um, for hopefully the, the best effect, mm -hmm. um, which is that we are going to be changing uh, tone cap. So... Most, so most Sam, Sam, what is a what oh, is a when you what is about a caps, tone cap? What is a cap? <laughs> so, um, a capacitor um, uh, is going to be connected uh, to, but usually, but it, there's a few different ways to wire them, but they're connected between uh, on your volume uh, pot uh, or your tone pot or in between, and um, it, it affects um, how much signal is going uh, going away when you're rolling back the knob. Um, if you think about it, like, so the reason that we even put, like, buffers on a board right. is because a cable adds capacitance, right? And it right. adds resist, res, resistance? It's no, similar it's to resistance. Similar. It's, it's capacitance is, is... It's not a resistor. Right. Right? So I think adding capacitance to this, right, you're, especially um, with a tone knob, that's what you're essentially doing, So you think you're adding it, capacitance. It's easier to, to think system. about it with, with, with a volume knob. Okay. So with volume, it's connected to ground. Mm. So it's how much signal is, as you roll that tone knob, or the volume knob back, it's how much signal is going into ground until uh, it's completely in ground and there's nothing. Got it. And with the capacitor, it's how much of your, of your uh, tone and volume is going through down to the capacitor, which is going to roll off certain frequencies. Does it almost soak it up? In yeah, a way? I think that's a good way. Do you to like think about it? it, like for in layman's terms, I guess. So, Reminder. so yeah, for the sake of this video, I like that analogy. Okay. Soaking it up, so you can kind of think of it like a sponge. Mm. So there are many different qualities of different sponges yes. that are going to absorb in different ways. Mm. So um, your standard uh, uh, cap that you're going to get out of the factory um, usually is like a ceramic uh, disc cap. Okay. Which, you know, for most folks, most people, a lot of times, especially when like in rock music, they don't even t turn the tone knob back. They, they have that. True. In, in which case, it's not even affecting your tone It's not a all. thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so most folks don't really care um, I shouldn't say most folks. A lot of folks don't don't really care. And don't touch the tone. Don't knob touch at all. the tone knob. Right. Um, so a lot of factory guitars are just going to have a, a pretty cheap ceramic cap. Yes. And for most people, that's fine. But if you want to get into um, jazz tones, if you want to get um, have interactions with with vintage fuzz pedals, sure. Which I really would, yeah. would like. If you have we pickups, like a lot. if you have pickups. That maybe you know you don't you, you don't really the tone isn't quite there for your pickups. Mm -hmm. Before you spend all the money to change out uh, into to get another pickup entirely, try changing the tone cap because yeah. it can change the quality, um, the attack, the the overall tone of your pickup in a way that it's a, in a surprising way yeah. that um, that could be the answer before you go ahead and buy you know. A pedal or a, or, or like or a your, pickups, you know, or... your, your handmade bare knuckle, like two hundred dollar uh, humbucker, yeah, when really yeah. you just could have gotten what you wanted with a t with a, a cap. And and caps are pretty inexpensive, as I understand, right? Yes. Okay. So th there's a wide uh, swath of price ranges. The unit itself, it's a very small electronic component. I'm I'm holding a paper and oil cap here that I'm going to be putting in the guitar shortly. Um, I got this from an um, uh, electronics um, online retailer that I like. They had a bunch of these in stock that they, they bought some mm -hmm. somewhere from some large old new old stock supply, um, and so it was really cheap. This was a couple. Yeah. This was like fifty cents. But um, there are certain um, vintage, uh, <laughs> really hyped caps sure, like, that yeah. can go for like a hundred dollars. Got it. Um, like Gibson sells these um, bumblebee. Um, paper and oil caps that are supposed to be these really sought after that were in like the 1959 Les Paul or something. Uh, it's, um, it's black and yellow stripe, yes, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That they sell for like 100 bucks. Jesus. And it's 
d- don't buy those. Yeah, like, yeah. they're not, it's it, apparently, actually, I was re- before I was doing research before I got this, um, apparently those particular uh, caps are just electrolytic caps that they, like, cover in different housing. Really? To make it look like the old paper and oil. So? So, so don't buy those. Don't buy those. But you don't can find, those. there's a lot of cool different types, and there's many different types of, of capacitors yeah. um, that, that work well for guitar. Um, orange drop, the, like, big, um, chunky orange, orange ones. Guys, yeah. um, like tropical fish capacitors, electrolytic. Um, but the a lot of people dig the paper and oil because they're the vintage um, Gibson and Fender. Mm. Um, There's caps. a there is. It's interesting that you say that because when I got my Jazzmaster, I think any of like the American Pro, at least the this series of American Pro Jazzmasters, has like if you if you open up this ca- yeah. this cavity right here, there is. So this this isn't like a traditional Jazzmaster. Doesn't yeah. have the tone circuit. Right. But they built some sort of circuit into here so that this tone knob interacts a little bit more. Cool. So it has a capacitor in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's one of those, like, ceramic. I just think it's, like, a factory, yeah. like, standard thing. But you know what? I notice on this that, like, this volume up is a lot more. You get a lot more clarity out mm-hmm. of it when you turn it down. So it sounds a little bit more, like, jazzy. So they must have, like, tuned it to a mm-hmm. specific value or sure. found, like, yeah. one that was yeah, like, something yeah. that fit whatever this, the tone right. circuit did that's no longer in there. Right, right. Know? So values so. so values are a whole other thing. Um, so... Um, they're, the values of, of caps are in microfarals and, um, or UF mm-hmm. and, um, this, uh, so, so the standard, um, vintage values that most people still ascribe to are, are either 0.022 okay. or 0. Uh, 0.047. Mm. Um, and the smaller the number, the brighter, because there's less, um, uh-huh. to absorb. And then the larger the value, the, the darker it's going to be. Got it. Um, got it. Got it. So... Uh, the more microfarads, the more resistance. Yeah, kind of. Or capacitance. Capacitance, capacitance. Yeah. Um, so, the I think I believe uh, Fenders. Is this right? Yeah, I believe Fenders used the um, 0.047. Gibson's used a 0.022. Okay. Um, to kind of complement single coils and humbuckers. Got it. Um, uh, but you can go. You don't have to only use those values. Right. Those are just people just use like those baseline. because. People just use those because those were what Gibson and Fender used back in the day, so it seems like, oh, that's the good thing to do. Like vintage spec, um, yeah. But you, it, you, you really you should play around. Like, see, so, so these ones, um, maybe they're a, a cheap, cheaper price because this is point zero five seven. Mm. So it's a little bit different, but who cares? I mean, it's still, it's still going to do the job, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so, what we're going to do today is mm-hmm. we're going to we're going to hear, um, hopefully, hear the difference. Um, between uh, a factory ceramic cap and a uh, new old stock, this is a Sprague uh, 0.57 um, pa- paper and oil. Paper and oil, uh, yeah. Cap. Um, so with, with my yeah, show the, Supro... Show the guitar, too. Yeah, cause... so with my Supro, um, I love the pickups. These gold foil single coil pickups are super cool. Um, great jangly sound. Sometimes I feel like they're a little bright, so I wouldn't mind if... if um, I could darken them up just slightly, mm-hmm. um, but moreover, the way that th- this this cap interacts um, with this uh, knob is as I turn the, if, if you turn it all the way back, it 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 has this kind of mid range honky quality, yeah, almost and like a wah dark sound of a wah, mm-hmm. like a cocked like a cocked wah, right? Sound, yeah. It's instead of a more um, even like jazz tone, mm-hmm. um, and there's it's, nothing warm about it. Yeah, it's not as it's not as warm as I want yeah, it to be. Yeah, yeah. And um, the other thing too is I feel like there's, I feel like the spread of the knob yeah. is almost like three settings, like all the way on, yep. halfway, and all the way off. And apparently, with with paper and oil, you're supposed to get a nice big range, a wider range on, on okay. the knob. So, so we're gonna find out. So why don't we listen to uh, the guitar as it is now, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna um, install this cap and uh, hear the difference. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna look at some uh, some tones with the guitar stock, um, and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna do try to go up some clean, roll the knob back, take a listen, do some dirty, same thing. Cool. So here's everything, all the knobs on full, uh, and I'm just gonna use the middle position throughout. Tone 
see here, it's it, on the top end. It has this um, this mid-range um, mm -hmm. filtered sound. Um, so let's do. I'll do a little bit of lead stuff. That's a uh, tone off. We're gonna roll it. Um, like halfway. Yeah, let's do halfway. <laughs> As you can hear, it's it's not. I, I wish it was darker. It, I feel like the yeah. it doesn't get quite as dark as I want it to be. Nope. Like that's a good sound, but um, I would rather further. I want that to be halfway. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Um, and it's even more pronounced. Let's do a little bit of dirt. Yeah, go for it. Do the night uh, the nineteen eighty one. Here's a. Uh, uh, everything uh, all the way up. So now rolling the tone knob halfway. All the way. So it's, I feel like that's even more pronounced there. I mean, yes. it's not it's not nearly as dramatic as I'd like it. It almost like doesn't. It almost just doesn't sound like it's affecting it that much in with the game on. Right. So I yeah, I definitely um, see what you're saying. And one more thing I want to look at is I'm gonna put yeah. on the um, the Argonaut and get some high octave stuff. So that's the octave, just the octave of an octave fuzz. Right. And I still have the 1981 on. Yes. So here's everything up. <laughs> Roll that all the way back. Um, so that's co it's a cool sound. Um, w if you get a really dark sound going on a guitar with that, um, it starts to interact in a different in a different way. That the octaves pop a mm -hmm. little more. Um, So let's switch it up. Let's put that cap in and see if we can hear the difference. The bitch. Center me things. So right now we're just kind of unsoldering the old cap. Sam's working yep. very diligently in here. Yep, so it is um we're gonna walk around the side. It's not a, it's a little better than the, the little ceramic disc one. It's a slightly bigger, but I believe it is a ceramic. Um let's see if I can get it. I see what he's doing. And so uh, the way that they have it wired in here is ground, and uh, one leg is on the middle okay. uh, option for the pot. And I believe that's the 50s style wiring. Okay. Um, which is um, going to, I think, affect, it makes it so that the cap affects your tone a little more, and it, um, like when it's not engaged, mm -hmm. and also. I think it's supposed to retain um, a little more high end when you roll the volume down. Okay. So now we're just trying to fit the capacitor into the actual cavity. So we're kind of clipping it up, and uh, Sam's trying to draw out some solder to get that guy in. You can see what kind. I'm also not the best at suckering. No, I don't think any of us are. <laughs> like, so any like. I guess it's a professional skill, right? Yeah. Oops. That's nice. Okay. Well done. Um, so it's just as easy as that. It's this. This is this is what I mean. Like it's it's such an easy modification um, for a fairly significant um, difference in your tone. So it's it's and you and they're so cheap. It's like why why not? You yeah. know, It's it's 
Why not start there, right? Why like, not start there before you go ahead and, like I said, buy the the hand wound, you know, really expensive pickups. Yeah, like why blow a bunch of cash on it? That's it's kind of crazy. You already have a, a it's already a cool looking guitar. It's already got gold foils in it. Like yeah, yeah. Don't mess with the aesthetic if you don't have to. And That's what thing, I always the say. other thing too is, um, it's not that I don't like the tone. It's just that I want to tweak it a little bit. It's just not quite there. On, on this parameter or that parameter. Um, and so I thought I thought about putting humbuckers in this, but I, but I love these pickups. So it's like, hopefully this does what I want and I won't have to change the pickups. Yeah. Because I don't want to lose what they do have, you know? Exactly, exactly. You don't want to get, so. a, get give away the character. You don't want to sacrifice anything. Right. So, all right, so let's uh, give this a... Right, so yeah, give us, give, us, um, give us a couple modes of this. So give us uh, the, the tone up like all the way up and then all the way so off. All the way up. It does seem like it might affect the tone, even with it the, the knob not engaged. Interesting. Which is subtle, but I feel like it took off a little bit of bitey high end. It did. It's a little round around the like very high high end of the range. So what do you what do you think about that? Is that something I, that you? Like? I, I I like it a lot. Okay, it's, cool. That's what I wanted. Nice. Um, so now we're gonna start rolling back to about halfway. in like 10 minutes of soldering work yeah. maybe so do yourself a favor if you're if you're not loving a particular pickup try changing out the cap first and um save you time money and it might get you exactly the tone you want um so hopefully this was helpful and yeah and enlightening um and go get a cap yeah try it out let us know if you, if you guys have a guitar yeah, you try it out and let us know in the comments and uh you know we will be back next week we'll see you in the next video I guess.